When I make reeds, whoops, I always start by scraping on the left side. I'm gonna turn the light off so there's better light, I guess. No, that's worse. Okay, I start scraping on the left side of the reed, um, cause just by habit, I'm left-handed, so that's what I do. And my angle is a little bit like this. And I start at the very tip of the reed. And I do this just to get everything started with the shape. It doesn't matter so much. Um, right now I'm doing the W scrape, uh, so it doesn't matter as much where the measurements are as long as my read is about 72 millimeters, which it is. And I always have to be careful around the tip of the tip because that is where I inevitably mess up. So I have that much accomplished now. Let's get it in focus. All right, this is very blurry. Okay, yes, you can see it's the start of a W. Um, so now I just need to widen that out a little bit so it's closer to the middle so that the right and left sides will be approximately equal. <laughs> and I always make sure the tip of the tip needs to be the thinnest part. And then now I start on the right side. And that's what's hardest for me as a lefty. First of all, getting you to be able to see it on camera is difficult, but it is difficult for me because um, you have to have a very sharp angle. And since I've always taken from right-handed teachers, um, it was just very hard in translation to get the angle to like, start happening for me. But um, I've got a, I think I've got it going pretty well now. Uh, when I scrape, I start angling this way and then angling up towards the center of the tip so that I can just keep scraping off all that extra gunk. And I also make sure that the tip is not too thick on the sides, because the sides of the tip need to be the thinnest part, um, unfortunately for me, again, because I'm just so good at taking everything off. <laughs> and there's a little bit of stuff left in the middle, so I'll just scrape that off. Okay, and now that I've done the basic groundwork for that, I've got sort of a basic W scrape going on that side. Yep, and now I just need to do the other side. So I've thinned out the tip a little bit. Um, as you can see, blurrily, of course, um, the there's now more shading in the tip and the spine is getting a little bit thinner towards the top. Of course, there's still lots of gunk at the top from where my knife just won't quite get it, but I will have that off by the time I clip it. And now I can move on to the channels. Okay, so with the channels, my goal is basically to scrape a little bit and then start lower and scrape a little bit more and then go back over the place where I scraped before and just follow it all the way out into the tip so that the tip can keep getting thinner as the rest of the reed does too. As always, I start on the left side, and I try to be pretty careful about the way the channels are going. You can see sort of the outline of it <laughs> in the camera. And I try to steer clear of the spine for now, since I'm just getting started but eventually I'll have to thin the spine out through the tip 
and the heart of the read. Okay, so there is one channel on one side. And let's see, we'll probably extend this a little bit more. Okay, and the right side. It isn't always easy to connect the tip to the heart, but I've got to smooth it out a little bit. So what I'm going for is the taper of the reed. Um, it's supposed to be much thicker in the back of the reed than it is in the tip. And so I'm just working on tapering it out to a nice angle. It also just looks prettier, but it sounds good. Sounds much better when you have a good taper on your reed. Okay, and there's another channel. I will stop here and do the other side now. Um, I know it's really boring to watch someone make reads for just a whole video, but here is what it looks like for now. And I will show you the finished version later. See, this side, also, this is kind of important. Ah, there we go. This side, it's already starting to taper a little bit. This side is still pretty bulky and then flat. So that is what I will be working on. I've worked on it a little bit and now I think it is about ready to clip. I have the tip pretty well thinned out except in the middle and the top is still giving me a bit of trouble. Um, and then the taper is pretty nice. Let's see, there we go. Taper is pretty nice, uh, whoops sloping downward from it's sort of thicker here and then it slopes down there we go there wow finally it's clear <laughs> amazing um, anyway it's it sort of slopes downward pretty nicely to the tip and the way you can tell that a reed is ready to clip is if it's pretty springy on both sides so this read actually is which is amazing <laughs> alright and I actually don't use water for the beginning of this process um, that's the way my professor teaches me and it's worked pretty well so far um, but now I just dip it and let it sit for a minute and now I can clip it and see if it curves at all alright so um, I actually did not record the clipping of this reed. It is now already clipped. Um, and again, the spine is just starting to take shape uh, throughout the reed as well as in the tip where it needs to be thinned still. Um, but I can do another clip because it could always use another clip. Okay, let's see how it sounds now. Amazing. Okay, so that was a double C crow, which has rarely happened, but this is what happens when you teach yourself how to make reads properly. Um, now what I need to do next week is start shaping it a little more and go through the whole process again. So I'll see you next week and thank you for watching.